rim from the outer rim of the bearing through these integral springs. Is that, is that uh, clear? Can you repeat that again? The, the integral squeeze foam damper, it has integral springs okay. EDM'd in its housing mm -hmm. that separates the inner rim that moves, that precesses mm -hmm. with respect to the outer rim. So okay, this okay. outer rim here is stationary and it interfaces with the inner rim through these integral springs which are EDM'd in place. So in phys physically they're not touching, just through the oil film? Only through the integral springs. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So this, mm -hmm. if I tried to, there's no, pretend there's no oil film right now. If I tried to move this mm -hmm. and held this stationary, I would be working these springs. Okay, I see. Okay? Right. right. Now, this is called the squeeze film land right here. Where that, the EDM goes through. Right here, okay. right behind the pad. That's a squeeze film land. And as this inner rim precesses, precesses a, meaning precesses meaning orbits. Okay, okay. It's not spinning. Okay. It's not. This isn't spinning. It's only precessing okay. from the vibration of the rotor. As it precesses, what it's going to do is it's going to squeeze the oil that's in this uh, gap. Mm -hmm. This is called a squeeze foam land. Okay. There's a pressure that's created in this land as you squeeze it. As you squeeze it. Okay. That pressure multiplied by the area of that land gives you a force. Okay. It gives you a damping force. So this is your damper land. Okay. This is your damper land. This is a damper land. That's a damper land. That's a damper land. Mm -hmm. And the stiffness is controlled by the integral springs and then the damping is controlled by the damper land. Oh, okay. So this is your K, this is your C. The damping is controlled by the clearance, by the orifice that feeds the damper land, and also the end seal clearance, because that controls how much resistance the oil has as it tries to escape. Slow out. Oh, escape. Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. The more resistance it has, the more damping it's going to have, okay. because more dissipation it's going to have. Okay. So it's, it's going to try to escape from both ends. As it precesses, mm -hmm. as, the, as the inner rim precesses towards the outer rim. The oil tries to get pushed out. That's right. Okay. The tighter clearance the end seals have, the more resistance okay. they're going to give. The mm -hmm. more resistance they're going to give, the higher pressure develops in the land. Okay. The higher pressure that develops, the higher damping force you get. Okay. Now remember, infinity damping is not good. There's an optimum damping value to rotor bearing systems. Henry Black song. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so this so is. How, how, do you, how can you explain that? How can I explain that? Okay, the optimum, way. To, optimum damping. Optimum damping. If you had infinity damping, the damping's going to be so much that it's going to be an overdamped system. Okay. And it's going to lock up the bearings, and you're going to have no motion in the bearings, and all the all the energy is going to go into bending the shaft. So it's going to be like you have rigid bearings and you're going to have a very flexible shaft. So infinite damping means you'll end up with a rigid yes. system. Yes. Meaning the, the stiffness? Yes. Okay. Dynamic stiffness. Okay. Yeah. So, so, that's, so the K, K factor and the C factor are always, always correlated. The impedance. You're going to have a very high impedance, which is a combination of your stiffness and your damping. Okay, okay. I see. So there is an, the, the point of this story is, is that there is an optimum damping value okay. for squeeze foam damper. So the procedure is to vary the support stiffness in your rotor model until you get the first mode to be located where you want. And remember, you got to keep an eye on the effective damping term of your balance piston seal and where that crosses over. You want to make sure that your first fundamental mode is above the crossover frequency of your effective damping term of your balance piston. But not, not high enough to bother the operating speed. Correct. Uh -huh. So the soft support is going to reduce your first mode, but you don't want to go below the crossover frequency. Mm -hmm. Once you find that stiffness, then at the maximum continuous operating speed, you vary the damping. In, in this integral squeeze foam damper, in your model, you vary the damping, you start low, you go high, and you plot the log deck versus your damping value oh, in okay. your bearings. And then what you'll get is you'll get a hill. You'll get the a optimum peak. point. That's ah, right. okay. And then that's the damping you choose. Okay. So you come to us and you say, look, this is the stiffness I want, and this is the damping I want. 
The stiffness is determined by looking at the location of your first mode. And then the damping is determined log by deck. the log deck of the first mode. So that's something that we have to do, not you guys. We provide an engineering service and we can do that. Okay. But uh, the customers sometimes like to do it too. Sophisticated customers that have time to do it, they will do it. Okay. Sometimes the customers say, you do that for me and we'll do it for them. We'll build the rotor model, we'll put all the masses and inertias and the bearing coefficients and we'll optimize the system and we'll give them the results. And so that we, makes you work on weekends. <laughs> <laughs> that makes us work. And that so will that will extra cost, right? There Engine, is a, of there course. Is, there is an engineering cost to that because it, it's not a quick, you know, I'm, I, I would help you with the seal analysis, no cost. I just do it quickly, you know, maybe one hour or two hours. But the optimizing the rotor bearing yeah, that's, system, that's developing, yeah, that's quite, yeah. developing the rotor model and things like this, that, that will cost something. That means I owe you some when you try to do that with our that compressor that we're having now. Um, I gave you all the models, the seal, the seal for the I'm gonna, What I'm going to do is for you on that one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the seal analysis for okay. you. That's where I'm going to start. Okay. And I'm going to try to get the crossover frequency for you, okay. and I'm going to send that crossover frequency. That'll be just sweet. And we'll, we'll do that first, and okay. we'll take it from there. Okay. Let's understand your seal. What, what's that seal doing? Okay. We'll understand it very well. Okay. So that means you'll need the honeycomb details as well? Yes. Okay. And I think there's a file in there. Okay. Good. And if not, just let me know. I'll, I'll email okay. you. No okay. problem. Was this clear? Yeah. Let me show you one more okay. thing. 